everybody, it's Crafter Reborns. I wanted to talk about brushes today, so let's talk brushes. Uh, as reborn artists, brushes are our tools of the trade. And you can see I have a ton here. I have even more here. And that purple box back there is also full of brushes. So I'm not going to take you through all of them, um, but I am going to show you some of my favorites. Um, right now, what I'm doing is I have so many brushes that I've decided that if I use a brush, once I wash it, I'm going to put it here on the table. And at the end of making the babies that I'm working on, at the moment, any brush that's still left in the caddy, I'm actually gonna put it in that purple box because I don't really use it all that much. Um, I only wanna have the brushes out there that I really, really use. A lot of people think that you have to, when you start reboarding, get the brushes from like a, a reborn supply company and you can, they're really, really nice, and but they're also really, really expensive. You can also find really great brush sets at your local craft store. Um, but I wanted to show you some that I really feel are worth the investment. So one of them, and this is a uh, this is from a company called Baby Stroke. So this is a reborn one. Is this fantastic mop brush? Now it doesn't come looking like this. It actually is a lot um, bigger, and I just cut it down. Um, it was not really big. It was longer, and I wanted it kind of more fluffy. This is fantastic for spreading out paint over a large area, um, like if you're doing modeling and it just came out a little bit too dark, um, it's a great way to spread the model out um, while keeping it looking like a model. So that's definitely a great reborn brush that you uh, need to get. You need to get a good flat brush, but you can get that at a craft store. Uh, another brush that I absolutely swear by is this. This I got from um, eBay. What's this called? Winstonia. This is actually a nail art brush. And I want to see if you can see. I'm going to put my pinky next to it so you can get a... Ah! Sorry. So you can get a sense of the size and now it's not going to focus. Ooh, there we go. There's my pinky next to it. And I have tiny hands. <laughs> um, but this is a nail art brush. And I find one of the hardest things is to find a brush that's small enough to do those really tiny details. So consider getting a nail art brush. I got this in a pack of three. Um, the thing about these particular nail art brushes that I got, like I said, I got a pack of three. And one of them already is not usable anymore. So um, that's something that you're going to have to keep reinvesting in. Um, but they weren't that expensive, which is great. Um, also, a lot of people think you have to have like really expensive brushes. And I find this is a really cheap brush. And um, this is one of my go-to flat brushes for getting into nooks and crannies. Um, and the fact that it's fraying like this is actually great because it makes it fuzzier and more like a mop brush and it's great for blending. Um, another brush that I just started using and I got this idea from a YouTuber. YouTuber. This is a makeup brush. So makeup brushes are, <coughs> excuse me, often really good for blending. This is an e.l.f. brush. This is the small, um, I think it's called a blender brush or a smudge brush, smudge brush, that's what it is, not blender. Um, and it's got, oh golly, it's got um, short bristles, and but they're really um, fuzzy wuzzy. It's great for getting into creases. And this was really, yeah, this is a small smudge brush. I'm just reading it. Um, this was only $3. I got this on Amazon.com, and I definitely want to order a few more of those. So a lot of these other brushes, not as important. It's probably a good idea to have um, a nice round kind of brush like this one, a small round brush. Um, that's a good one. Uh, this is my, <coughs> excuse me, this is my hair painting brush, which is a flat brush that I've cut a lot of the bristles off of. 
Um, it's nice to have different sizes of flat brushes to get into those um, creases and things. Uh, so that's some of the basics of brushes and where to find brushes and what kind of brushes you are going to need. So TTFN, cha-cha for now.